Did you know in Japanese dating culture there's a special and important step called kokuhaku? Its literal meaning is confession. Contrast to Western cultures, Japanese people tend to confirm their relationship before dating. I personally found it a bit intense. What do you guys think? Hello, passport bro. Let's talk about something more serious in today's video. In Japan, if you like someone, you're expected to declare it through something called a kokuhaku, which means a love confession. This isn't just a casual comment, it's actually a formal declaration of your feelings, ensuring the other person knows exactly how you feel. In Japan, kokuhaku is the cornerstone of starting any romantic relationship. It sets a clear line between just being friends and wanting something more. In many Western cultures, relationships might start with flirting and gradually become more serious over time. But in Japan, without a kokuhaku, you might never know if someone likes you as more than a friend. This method helps everyone involved by making sure both people understand each other's intentions right from the start. It's about honesty and making sure you're both on the same page, which is really valued in Japanese dating culture. Listen to this. Things you didn't know about Japanese people. In Japan, before you start dating with someone, you have to do this. Confession. You have to tell someone that you are in love with that person and you have to ask for a permission to date. It is called kokuhaku. Here's how to do it. You need the name of the person and if it's a guy, you can say san. If it's a girl, you can say chan. No koto ga suki desu. Name plus san or chan no koto ga suki desu. So this means I like you. And you have to say boku to if it's a guy, watashi to if it's a woman, sukiyatte kudasai. Sukiyatte kudasai. So this means can you date with me? Can you go out with me? I hope that the TikTok was informative. Getting the timing right for your kokuhaku is crucial. You don't want to rush into it without first establishing a mutual interest. Where you say this love confession also plays a significant role in how well it is received by your potential partner. A quiet place where you can talk privately is ideal. Maybe a tranquil part of a park or a cozy cafe after a great outing. These settings provide a calm atmosphere, conducive to open, heartfelt communication. It's all about creating the right mood and choosing a moment when you both feel connected and relaxed. Imagine this. The evening is winding down. You're both enjoying a moment of quiet after a pleasant day spent together, and you feel a genuine connection. This could be the perfect time for kokuhaku. It should come at a time when you feel close, but before you get so comfortable that your relationship slips into friendship territory. If you wait too long, you might miss your chance to turn your budding friendship into a romance. The best kokuhaku feels like a natural next step in your growing relationship. Not an unexpected surprise. The phrases you use in your kokuhaku are key. They convey not just your feelings, but how much you respect the other person's feelings too. Suki desu, or I like you, is straightforward and shows you care without overwhelming the other person. For those who feel something stronger, I shiteru, or I love you, carries much more weight and is typically reserved for a deeply established relationship. The language should be simple, sincere and direct reflecting both your feelings and the seriousness with which you are taking this step. When you confess, it's important to be clear about what you're asking for. A phrase like tsukiyate kudasai, which means please go out with me, can follow suki desu. This doesn't just convey your feelings. It also shows that you're serious about starting a relationship. It's not just about liking someone. It's about wanting to be with them in a committed way. This clarity is crucial in a kokuhaku 
because it leaves no room for misunderstanding what you're hoping to achieve. When making a kokuhaku, understanding Japanese cultural nuances can greatly affect the outcome. It's essential to approach your confession with the utmost sincerity. Japanese culture prizes modesty and honesty, especially in significant moments like these. Choose a setting that's private enough to give both of you space to express yourselves freely. A public or overly casual setting might not only make the other person uncomfortable, but could also detract from the seriousness of your confession. It's also important not to rush the response. After you've made your kokuhaku, give the other person some time to think about their feelings. They may not be ready to answer right away, and pushing for an immediate response can be seen as disrespectful. Remember, a kokuhaku is a respectful invitation to start a romantic relationship, not a demand. Respecting their response, whether it's positive or negative, is crucial for maintaining respect and dignity in both your eyes and in traditional Japanese etiquette. For foreigners, the concept of kokuhaku might seem daunting, but it's a wonderful way to show respect for Japanese culture and the person you're interested in. Learning even a little bit of the language can make a big difference. It shows that you're making an effort to respect their culture and communicate in their language, which can be deeply appreciated. Simple phrases learned well can convey your feelings authentically and respectfully. Prepare yourself for all possible outcomes. In case your feelings are not reciprocated, it's important to handle the situation with grace. Japanese culture does not view persistent romantic pursuit favorably once an answer has been given. Also, consulting with Japanese friends can provide you with insights and advice on how to appropriately express your feelings through kokuhaku. Their guidance can help you avoid cultural missteps and tailor your approach to be as respectful and effective as possible. Embracing the tradition of kokuhaku is a beautiful way to express your feelings and can be a gateway to a meaningful relationship. It's a practice that embodies the Japanese values of sincerity and respect in romantic endeavors. Whether your confession leads to a relationship or helps you both gain clarity about your feelings, it's a courageous step that shows deep respect for the person you care about. Kokuhaku isn't just about revealing your feelings. It's about opening the door to potential love with honesty and respect. And there you have it, your guide to mastering the art of kokuhaku, or the love confession in Japan. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more insights into Japanese culture and dating practices. Have you ever made a kokuhaku or are you planning to? We'd love to hear your stories or any questions you might have in the comments below. Every like and subscription helps us bring more great content to you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.